This is Mike Decker with the National Weather Service in San Angelo, Texas. This briefing is being updated just after 6 a.m. Friday morning. Scattered showers and thunderstorms were developing from uh, Abilene southward to Ballinger and Coleman, moving uh, northeast around 30, 30 miles an hour. These, these showers were producing uh, some rainfall amounts, perhaps up to a quarter inch. The storms were developing along a dry line. Um, which will push the eastward today. By mid morning and late morning, we're looking forward to push uh, east to uh, Brownwood to Junction Line, and we could see some uh, isolated severe thunderstorms along that, uh, potentially up to the size of a golf ball. Main timing for this is uh, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, this afternoon. For a day otherwise, we're looking for warm conditions, a weak cold front, we'll be moving into the big country. Um, in the afternoon, temperatures will be slightly cooler with temperatures uh, around 74 to 75 degrees across Haskell County and perhaps 80 along the Interstate uh, 20 corridor. Further south of that, we're looking for dry west to northwest winds and this will allow temperatures to rise into the uh, mid and possibly even upper 80s today. Otherwise, the main story today, of course, is the uh, thunderstorms during the uh, morning hours and early afternoon and for that potential uh, uh, severe thunderstorm let's say from from Brownwood to Junction and eastward. That cold front will be pushing southward uh, into across all of west central Texas this evening. We're looking for dry conditions behind it with uh, overnight lows tonight mainly in the mid 40s. This has been Mike Decker with the National Weather Service, San Angelo, Texas.